Oh wow, Eric's selling all his security interest stuff. And Power Rangers traders, buyers, and sellers. I don't know if they're sold yet, but if anyone's interested, that's a lot of stuff. I'll link to that if it lets me. Speaking of Power Rangers, still one of my favorites. You can probably see behind me I'm working on part one, of, no, part two of my top ten Power Ranger. You'll never guess who made the top five in the top ten. Yeah, Thunder Megazord is still one of my favorites. Here's the shots that I did today, and then I realized that I had Dirano shots that I like better. I think I'm going to use those for the video, so I'll just put those here, the ones I did today. So the other day, I woke up very early in the morning, and Mia wasn't in the bed. And I look over, I think it was like 7 in the morning, and I'm like, where's Mia? So I guess she had slept downstairs that night because she thought she was having nightmares where she kept hearing like this, this banging sound. I don't know, she couldn't sleep, so she went downstairs and slept on the couch, I guess. And, I mean, we had watched a couple of kind of scary things, so seemed seemed plausible, I guess. <laughs> um, the way she described it actually sounded kind of scary. But maybe this morning we found out what it actually was that she was indeed hearing. The tree is fine, but okay. see that metal rod? I don't think we want the tree to fall in the house. In front of the house, we've got this big tree, and I guess there are some cables that are kind of keeping it from, from splitting apart, maybe? I, I think one of those was kind of unraveling in the middle of the night, and it eventually snapped. That's bad. <laughs> it, like, lately, it's just, it's always something, isn't it? So Mia and I are both in agreement that a tree falling on the house could be bad. So call somebody, they'll be here early tomorrow morning, which means I shouldn't stay up too late. Tomorrow morning is the earliest they can come, so hopefully the tree will stay up until then. Or just not fall at all, that'd be, that'd be great. But tomorrow morning somebody's coming to look at it. That's easily gonna be over a $1,000. Because we already got a quote for just the trimming, so... <sighs> and then Friday we have somebody coming to look at the roof. Because in the last vlog you see it's uh, leaking over my desk when it rains hard. That's also bad. So then when we, di we took the drone up to try to look at the roof and the tree, drone crashed and broke. That's also bad. <laughs> I don't have $400 for another drone. So I glued it together. This is the only camera we have, I think, that doesn't actually have protection. And I think I see why, because it was like $200 to insure it. And we're like, if we break it, we might as well just buy another one. I, I think I would have made the same choice. I don't even know if that, that covered would even still be valid. I think we got this two years ago. It's never going to be perfect, though. So I'm, we're looking into... Some place that we can have it repaired. Can we do it ourselves? I've already seen what goes into repairing the drone. I'm not sure I'm comfortable doing that. I don't know if Jerry wants to try it. It's not an easy fix. Like there's soldering involved. You have to take the thing apart and wire it. And eh, it's always something. <laughs> it's always something. <laughs> oh, and to make the drone thing worse, the crash, it, it corrupted the file or something. So we don't even have footage of the thing crashing. Like, it's at least something if you have cool footage, but nope, don't even have that. And, like, we flew all throughout the tree just fine. Uh, we decided maybe we'd try to land the drone in the house, so I just opened the door and we brought it in. Because um, it seemed like it didn't like taking off from the sidewalk, it was like kind of slanty. So I'm like, oh, we'll just land it in the house. So it starts coming through the door, and then it just all of a sudden starts flying towards the door. I don't know if there's like a problem with the... I, I don't know, but like Mia said, it, it wasn't on her end, the thing just started like being pulled into the door. It was already coming, it, it just, I don't know what happened, but yeah, it met the door, and then it's it fell on the ground before I could catch it. We're doing good. I thought maybe the eBay gods would smile upon me for at least one thing. No, I, I lost. So that eBay auction was for his top two antennas and then his three weapons. That's a very expensive figure to buy on its own. I thought maybe I could piece it together. You know, like buy the figure and then buy the little antler things and the weapons separately without spending a fortune. Some of these have just gotten so ridiculously expensive. It's just, it's so insane. Ah. 
If you, if you like your figures and you want to keep them, don't let your mother give them away. Put them somewhere safe. Keep an eye on them. <laughs> oh man. Here I am 20 years later still trying to put these back together. More than 20. Oh man, it's more than 20 years. One second left and I got outbid. One second left. Jerry made beef. Beef pizza. Now Mia made enchiladas. Same beef. It's pork. That's what I said? <laughs> I made pork. That's what I said. You made pork. Mm -hmm. Why would you hear? Beef? Mm -hmm. Oh. It's a different animal? Yeah. Come on. Is it a chicken? No. <laughs> Are you a chicken? I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> Jerry usually doesn't write like rice, but he's going to try. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> Detests rice. <laughs> I'm shocked that he's trying that. Oh, that's hysterical. I just I look at his plate. There's this little thing. <laughs> we'll see if he likes it. Don't want to take a lot if you know you might not like it, right? That makes right. sense. <laughs> right. Jerry's not beef pizza and herb pizza came out very well. Smells like pizza. Mm. Well, that does look good. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> I, I was saying that your not beef pizza and your herb pizza came out very well. <laughs> I agree. It was good. Good pizza that I made. Ah. <laughs> ah, Jerry. So, yeah, this, this was age-restricted, our video that has... Uh, 3,000 views on it from 2010. November 2nd, 2010, that's today. Look at that. How do you like that? Happy anniversary, stupid video. <laughs> Earlier today, Katy Perry's uh, California Girl song randomly popped up on my Facebook, of all places. That, that was kind of odd. And I, I'm thinking, like, doesn't she have a lot of really young fans? Or didn't she at the time when this video came out, right? So this video, which has 556 million views on it, Let's see. Does not appear to be age restricted. Clearly not all YouTube channels have to play by the same rules, but I think we've known that for a long time, right? All right, it is 12.30 in the morning. It was just 9.30, I swear. All right, well, happy election day. I think we can all agree that we're at least happy the political ads are gonna be over, right? That's something. All right, I hope everybody is voting. I would say it's pretty important this year. I think that's all I can say. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> all right, thank you guys for watching. Good night.